Hey, how's it going? My name is Jussi and this channel is all about filmmaking tips and tutorials and camera gear. A week ago Peter Lindgren made a video called POV B-roll challenge where he basically challenged us to make a video where we film ourselves by ourselves from a POV angle. And I decided to participate in that challenge and also make my own video with my own style but kind of emulate that same cinematic look that Peter has. Okay guys, so here's the scene. It's our living room and here's a couple of candles and whatever this thing is called in English. We have a candle there. It, it was actually my girlfriend's idea. And here are these cool lights, which were also my girlfriend's idea to sort of like enhance the candlelight mood that I wanted to incorporate into this scene. And then here we have a book that I'm gonna use in the scene. It's the four hour work week. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. Then another candle, some red wine. And here's my friend Claudio's tripod that I'm borrowing. And here we have the Aperture MC light that I set to around 3200 Kelvin, which is as close to the candlelight temperature that I could get it. And then here's my behind the scenes, uh, behind the scenes camera and my very budget but practical newer light. And this cost around $70 on Amazon and they actually include two of those. And I pointed to the ceiling so it will sort of like softly reflect from the ceiling to the living room because I didn't want any harsh lights. In Peter's video, he's using his Sony a7 III full frame camera with his Sony G Master 24mm f1.4 lens. Now to get that same cinematic look that Peter has and to get as close to the look that he has, I'm using my Sony a6500 with the Sigma 60mm f1.4 lens. Now because this is a crop sensor camera with a 1.5x crop, it makes this lens equivalent to 24mm on Peter's full frame camera, which gives this same cinematic look and feel to it. The good thing about this lens is that it's wide enough to get those detailed close up shots, but it doesn't distort the image too much. And just like Peter Lindgren, I also like to use mainly only manual focus for these kind of B-roll sequences. And the reason is that it looks so much more professional often in these kind of B-roll situations when you use manual focus. And the other reason is that it's so much easier to control where you want the viewer's attention to be at when you can use manual focus because you can set the focus to a certain area or a certain subject that you want the viewer's attention to be at. And this helps a lot when you're trying to tell a certain story or set a certain mood for your sequence. Oh, that's so hard, so hard to get the focus and the timing correct. It's, it's so difficult, but I really hope that was good enough. Wow. 
when you use manual focus, you can use also these cool manual focus uh, focus pullings, which looks super cool. And I actually tried these manual focus focus pullings with one hand, just like Peter did in his video, but I, I just couldn't do it. It was so hard. First of all, my Sony A6500 is so small that actually holding it and trying to even have my fingers on the focus ring was so hard. I just couldn't do it, so I just went with setting the focus to a certain point and then just doing the camera movement. Okay, now that I'm finished filming, I can actually relax and enjoy the wine. If you enjoyed this video, I need to ask you for a favor. Subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification so you'll be notified every single Monday when I upload a new video. I've actually made a lot of these similar how to film yourself by yourself videos and I'll link one of them or a playlist here on this card over there, somewhere around here. And I highly recommend you to watch it because I think you're really gonna like it. Okay, thanks for watching and see you again next Monday. Take care.